Nearly 300 people will soon be without jobs. That's after Alorica announced it would be closing its doors in the coming months. It's a story we first brought you yesterday on News 10. News 10's Aaliyah Blackburn continues our coverage for you now. She spoke with some city and county leaders today. She has more on why local leaders are not losing hope. News 10 has learned new information about the closure of a Terre Haute business. In just a few short sentences. We're told around 285 Alorica employees will lose their jobs. News broke of more jobs leaving Vigo County. It's a gut punch to any community leader. It's almost that we've become immune to this. For some, this is deja vu. Last January, Sony DADC laid off nearly 400 people at its Terre Haute location. Now, customer service group Alorica says they're packing up shop and taking nearly 300 jobs with them. Both Alorica and Sony were kind of um, a, a job market that uh, maybe out, has outdated itself. Um, Sony with the Blu-ray, Alorica with the call system. With new businesses moving into the area like Select Genetics and even new jailer positions now open at the Vigo County Jail, city and county leaders say they're focusing on opportunity. There are jobs that are out there, but that doesn't necessarily mean that there's qualified candidates for that job. Leaders hope to continue the push of investing in workforce training and helping people gain quality skills for today's jobs. While the loss of Alorica is a setback, local leaders say they are not giving up on the community. We've been on a massive decline, not a steady decline, but, but we're really racing to the bottom and we will pull out of this. We have no choice. Alorica representatives told News 10 the last call at the Terre Haute location will be on December 31st. They plan to be out of the building by the end of January.